Okay, what's up guys? So previous few videos ago I showed you how to use the default cube and create a cloud using basically the shader. But in this video I'm going to show you how to create a cloud another way. So we're going to use a UV sphere. So what you want to do is firstly we just enable this. Cool. Okay, so go shift A, mesh, look for UV sphere, then let's zoom in. Then what you want to do is hit tab. Then what you want to do is make sure that this is selected. Okay, then what you want to do is select a few of these. So let's go. Actually, let's do this. So let's do that. Okay, now what you want to do is go here to proportional editing, enable it, hit G, and just bring it out. Something like that. You can always select more. You want to basically make like a cloud. You know what I mean? So something like that. Okay, that looks a bit funny. You can go to top view, select some of these. G, just here, yeah, select some more. G, yeah, doesn't have to be perfect, but just something like that looks good. Then what you want to do is hit tab to go out of edit mode, right click, shade smooth. Then what you want to do is go here to modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface modifier. You can increase this to too. If you go too high, it's going to make your computer laggy. So don't, uh, don't don't make it go to like ten or whatever. Now what you want to do is add another modifier. Go to displace. Go here to new. Select here. Go to type. Then select clouds. Then what you want to do is change the scale to about one point eight. You can even go to about two point one if you want. Then what you want to do. Go back to modifiers and apply subdivision surface modifier first and then apply the displace modifier. Now let's go shift A, then go to volume and select empty and then go here to modifier and hit mesh to volume. And then what you want to do is go here and select the sphere as your object. Okay. And then let's play around with the density so you can go 1.8. Can even let's go with 1.85. Actually, 1.95 is fine. And then let's change this voxel amount to 125. And then let's go here and click volume displace. Then let's hit new, go here, select cloud texture. Now, what you want to do is hide this. As you can see, it's really starting to look like a cloud. Now, let's go here. You can see it's starting to look like a cloud. Obviously, I still think that the previous video, the one that I used the shading, looks better. And now if I go yeah, you can see that's what it looks like. So it looks it looks pretty good. It looks almost like it kind of looks like candy floss, which is also fun if that's what you're going for. But like I said, I still think that the second the first video that I made is the cloud looks a bit better but this also works i feel like this is also a bit more confusing like these things whereas with the shading you just use nodes it's much easier so make sure you subscribe